The Book of Abridged or Shortened Prayers at Taqsir Chapter on What is said about the shortened prayers and for what period of stay one should offer shortened prayers? Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet peace be upon him once traveled and stayed for 19 days and offered shortened prayers. So when we traveled and stayed for 19 days, we used to shorten the prayer. But if we traveled and stayed for a longer period, we used to offer the full prayer. Narrated Yahya bin Ishaq, I heard Anas, may Allah be pleased with him, saying, We traveled with the Prophet, peace be upon him, from al Madina to Mecca, and he used to offer two raka, two raka, shortened prayers till we returned to al Madina, I said, Did you stay for some days in Mecca? He replied, We stayed in Mecca for 10 days. Chapter on As-Salat, the prayers at Mina during Hajj Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, May Allah be pleased with them. I offered the Salat with the Prophet, peace be upon him, Abu Bakr and Umar, May Allah be pleased with them, at Mina. And it used to be two rak'ah, shortened salat. Uthman, may Allah be pleased with him, in the early days of his caliphate, did the same. But later on, he started offering the full salat, prayers. Narrated Haritha bin Wahb, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, led us in the salat, prayer, at Mina, during the Hajj. And it was two rak'ah, shortened prayer while we were in a better security than before. See Hadith number 1656. Narrated Abdul Rahman bin Yazid, At Mina, Uthman ibn Affan, may Allah be pleased with him, led us in the Salat, prayer, and offered for Raka'ah, the full prayer. Abdullah bin Mas'ud, may Allah be pleased with him, was informed about it. He said sadly, Truly, to Allah we belong, and truly, to Him we shall return. And added, I offered two rak'ah, shortened prayers, with Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, at Mina, and similarly with Abu Bakr and with Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, during their caliphates. He further said, May I be lucky enough to have two of the four rak'ah accepted by Allah. Chapter on how long did the Prophet, peace be upon him, stay during his Hajj? Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, and his companions reached Mecca in the morning of the 4th of Dhul Hijjah, reciting Talbiyah. Labbayk Allahumma labbayk. O Allah, we are obedient to your orders. We respond to your call, intending to perform Hajj. The Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered his companions to assume the ihram for the Umrah instead of Hajj, except those who had Hadi sacrifice with them. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, stayed for 10 days during the Hajj. See Hadith number 1081. Chapter on What is the length of the journey that makes it permissible for one to offer a shortened Salat, prayer? The Prophet, peace be upon him, called the journey of one day and one night as traveling. Ibn Umar, Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, used to shorten the Salat and stop fasting in a journey of four burud, i.e. 16 farsakh. Distance of three miles equals one farsakh. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, a woman should not travel for more than three days except with a mahram, i.e. a male with whom she cannot marry at all, example her brother, father, grandfather, etc., or her own husband. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, A woman should not travel for more than three days except with a mahram. Narrated Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, It is not permissible for a woman who believes in Allah and the last day to travel for one day and night except with a mahram. Chapter 1